When I talked about the scope, it's really hard to convey how broad a system this was and the tremendous effects it had on the state during this period. As I said, it lasted over 20 years. It created more than 146,000 pages of documents, all of which still exist. There are 87,000 names of individuals and organizations who were spied on by the state over that period. And in many cases, families were divided because one portion of the family was working for the Sovereignty Commission and the other was working on behalf of civil rights. So you essentially had an entire state <clears throat> that was under surveillance by a secret organization that reported only to the governor and to a board of 12 powerful men from the state senate, the house, and private business. <clears throat> 